Hello guys, this is Vivek and this is 18th tutorial of the series. In this tutorial, we are going to learn more about user management using user mod command and user del command. So, uh, in one of the earlier tutorial, one of the previous tutorial, I spoke about user mod command briefly. And when you type user mod command, there are various files which gets impacted. So let's let's see what are these. So first file it gets impacted because of user mod command is etc and passwd. So we have seen this file before. So basically it has entries for related username, uh, whether password is set or not. It is cat slash etc slash shadow. Again, uh, I have to type sudo. All right, so this is encrypted password. All right, so another file which gets modified uh, that is slash etc slash group. That is cat slash etc slash group. So this has the group name and GID. Few other files should get modified is slash etc slash login dot definition file that is we'll see that slash login dot tefs okay. slash etc so this is the file oh let's just just scroll up very quickly I will type more and we'll see that. All right, so many things are commented here. All the definitions you can define in this particular file when the password expiry should happen, uh, whether you want to log the logins, and all those things are self explanatory if you read through this uh, configuration file. Then another file we get um, uh, altered is slash etc slash g shadow. Similar to shadow, g shadow is for secure group account information. Okay, let's take example of user mod command now. So the basic syntax of the command says user mod, then the option, and then the username. We'll see how it we'll see how it works. So when you want, if you want to see all the details, you can always type user mod minus minus help, and you will see all the possible uh, options here. You can add minus C D E F G capital G A small H L capital L M O P capital R S U capital U V capital V W capital W and capital Z. So all these options, what they does, the functions are lit written here. So let's take example of few of these commands. So we'll type, we'll add a comment to student uh, student username. So we'll type you sudo user why we are typing sudo because we are not super user we are we are just an ordinary user we are taking privilege of super user by using sudo command we'll type we'll sudo we'll add a comment to student one user we'll type minus c that is a comment we'll try this is a bad account all right and to which id student Two. Mm -hmm. We did not type user mod here. User mod. All right. Let's see what happened. Here you go. In student two, we have added a comment which was blank before. Now it says this is a bad account. Cool. Now. You can do various things. You, you can play around with this command. I'll show you a few more examples. So let's say, uh, so let's see that we want to uh, say uh, expire, set an expiry date to this particular account. An expiry date would be today is 7th January 2017. Let's say it's going to expire on uh, 8th January. How we can do that? So it's pretty simple. Uh, in previous example, we saw minus e is for expiry. C 
the expired date. All right, how to use that? Uh, we are going to type user mod command with minus e option that is sudo user mod minus e user mod minus e and we'll set the exam uh, date 2017 slash 01 slash or dash not slash and 08 and which id student 2 nice so tomorrow this account will get expired now uh, how we can see uh, uh, what uh, how long this account is going to be active so there is a command called ch age so we'll see ch age and then we'll type an option minus l and we'll give the student two name okay uh, maybe we need to add sudo sudo all right this account was created on 3rd january last password that that was the time when we set the password and it's going to expire on 8th of january cool so these are few policies which which we can change in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how we can do that but as of now just to show you the demo i have set the expiry date here all right so similarly you can play around with command with various options and uh, see what you can do you can also <clears throat> suppose the student to maybe you want you don't like the name you want to change the name how you can do that so we will change student to to suppose uh, ubuntu 2 how about that so we'll use command sudo user mod and we are change the name new name would be ubuntu 2 to which id student 2 all right now what happened we'll see cat slash etc slash pssWD file student 2 is nowhere to be seen and it became ubuntu 2 rest all the things which was associated with student 2 account remains the same it's uid it's gid it's comment it's home directory and so on and so forth so this is how you change the name now how to log this account if you suppose we don't want to use this account or uh, as of now or this account should be suspended for the time being so we we'll lock out this account it's pretty simple user uh, will type sudo user mod and we need to log this account now this account has become ubuntu 2 ubuntu 2 cool ubuntu 2 ubuntu oh spelling mistake ubuntu 2 so now we have logged the account how to unlock this particular account so it's pretty simple by using minus u option something like sudo user mod minus u and ubuntu 2 it will unlock the account uh, we got a warning it says that you need to set the password for ubuntu 2 we'll type p a s s w d or maybe we will add sudo p a s s w d for ubuntu 2 new password the password will password p a s s w r d we got the password updated successfully so this is how we can lock and unlock the account and many other things which can be done i recommend you to go around and play go and play with this, these commands and these options now the last Thing before we end this tutorial is how we can delete a user user you can just simply write um, user del command and you want to delete student 2 okay it's user it's ubuntu, ubuntu 2 ubuntu we change this student 2 to ubuntu 2 okay now the, the user is deleted if you go to cat slash etc slash bsswd file you won't see the entry for ubuntu so we saw that using user del command we can delete the user from a system so this is it about user modification next tutorial we'll learn more about uh, permissions and how to what are different permissions possible and all those things so for this for the time being this is it guys thanks for watching this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to this channel otherwise you might miss 
updated videos. Thanks for watching.